Hello YouTube, it's Black Tiger Miner back for another video discussing cryptocurrency and especially artificial intelligence coins. And if you look today, the market is up, like it's pretty much on fire compared to last week. So one of the coins I wanted to focus on is Fetch AI. And you can see here, uh, FET is up. 18.5 percent so i think it's doing pretty well today it's been pretty stagnant but uh recently it's going up so i want to go to the twitter page so this is the fetch ai twitter page and looks like the announce announcement was we're thrilled to announce fetch ai in collaboration with our partner bosch global performing a new fetch ai foundation to boost development of industry applications based on AI and Web3. So that was just one of the messages on their site. And I'm just going through and checking out some of the Twitter information. I think that was probably one of the newest articles. And here's another one with the uh, Botch Global to discuss the newly announced Fetch AI Foundation and advancement they hope to achieve together to listen to the details below. So I'll add this to the YouTube page. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe before we get into it. I'm gonna look at the numbers and then I wanna show you guys a video. So here we have live CoinWatch which is showing, see, within the last seven days, it's down 7.42%. Last 30 days, it's down 5.6%. Last 90 days, it's up 330%. And the last 24 hours, this is running, guys, 19.33%. And the last hour, it's up 1.8%. So, yeah, there's definitely a lot of... Uh, interest in fetch ai and then if we look at uh coin gecko it's up 19.8 percent and the same thing here for coin market cap it looks like it's been pretty steady today and as i mentioned it's been pretty down up until i guess this is today it looks like it's rocketing up pretty much right here we go with the month so yeah it's been down most of the month and now it's starting to climb back up this is not financial advice but i would say now would be a good time to get in uh, i have been watching this and uh, looks like it has forty two thousand two hundred and forty six uh holders and let's switch to the video real quick and then I guess we can come back and look at some of this information. So here is the YouTube video from Drew Wolfer. And he's kind of going over some of the characteristics and applications of Fetch AI. So let's get to it. I'll be right back. AI has been on my and probably your radar for quite a while. And let me tell you, this project has been making some serious moves lately. We're talking about more than a 500% pump from January 1st to the candle closes in early February of 2023. Not bad. Now, I know what you're thinking, but chat GPT triggered AI projects to begin pumping. What's so special about Fetch AI? Well, Fetch AI is ranked in the top five overall market cap coin in the AI crypto space. That's one thing. It went from eight cents to 54 cents in 40 days. That's two things. So this is not your average AI project. And let's dive in and see what makes Fetch AI stand out and what that actually means. So first things first, let's talk about the coin itself. The coin itself is called FET and it stands for Fetch. Fetch refers to a line of code in a protocol that fetches data from a library or some node of information in cyberspace. 
Humayun Sheik is a British entrepreneur and the co-founder and CEO of Fetch.ai. And before starting Fetch AI, Sheik was an entrepreneur and investor with over 20 years of experience in the technology and financial sectors. He co-founded a number of successful tech startups, including Cognicity, a smart city accelerator, and Blue Zell Networks, a blockchain-based data storage and management platform. Under Sheik's leadership, Fetch AI has become a leading player in the development of decentralized autonomous organizations, or DAOs, which use AI and blockchain technology to create more efficient and effective networks of digital service. And Fetch AI has developed partnerships with a range of companies and organizations, including Bosch, the University of Cambridge, and the International Telecommunications Union, or the ITU. And Sheik is a recognized thought leader in the blockchain and AI industries and has spoken at numerous conferences and events around the world. He is also an active contributor to the blockchain and AI communities, serving on the advisory boards of several other blockchain and AI startups. And to go even further, Fetch combines AI with blockchain to build a decentralized, inclusive digital economy that enables people to trade goods and services in the most optimal way, at least in their opinion. And what really got my attention is this next part. Because Fetch AI claims that they are building the autonomy of things. So what does that mean? Could this be a future-proof value add to the aspirational Internet of Things or the IoT? The Fetch AI team has actually been developing novel and semi-novel concepts such as autonomous agents, interchain bridges, and an open economic framework or OEF. So in the words of Pop Smoke, you can tell that they are shooting for the stars and aiming for the moon with this project. At its base and core, this project is all about solving real world problems with the help of AI and machine learning. Now, let's talk about the interchain bridge, shall we? This is one of the key features of Fetch AI because it allows interoperability, a term I am sure that you have heard of by now, right? But in case you haven't, Interoperability, or the lack thereof, actually allows for seamless communication and data transfers between different blockchains, making it easier for users to access and utilize different blockchain networks without being limited to a single blockchain. This is how a lot of people accidentally lose their money in crypto via cross-chain transactions, and that's something that Presend actually helps fix coming very soon. Interoperability is becoming increasingly more important as more blockchain networks are being developed for specific use cases resulting in a fragmented ecosystem of blockchain solutions. There's obviously various approaches to achieving blockchain interoperability, such as building bridges between different blockchains, creating cross-chain protocols, and developing middleware solutions. Obviously, Fetch AI has taken the bridge approach to solve for interoperability, and Fetch AI actually claims to be a very innovative new chain and also claims that it has learned from all the lessons of larger existing blockchains. So Fetch seeks to have the security of Bitcoin, the privacy of Zcash, and the speed of HBAR all bundled up into one nice package. It's honestly mind-blowing if they do pull it off. So let me ask you this, do you actually believe Fetch is doing this effectively, or even could they do it effectively? Okay, that's a good question for you guys. Do you think that Fetch can pull this off and you think it's a good project and or a good application, uh, put those in the comment section. I want to discuss Fetch AI and let me know if you think we should keep uh, talking about this or keep tracking it with the other Aletheia AI and the other alt or artificial intelligence coins we're currently tracking and. Uh, Kind of keep an eye on so this is not financial advice but i would say do your research before investing in any crypto and also you could dollar cost average i wouldn't recommend dumping your life savings into it but you can slowly add to your current bag and kind of get it up before the next bull market hits but this is uh black tiger miner signing out Peace out, guys. I'll probably do another video or another few videos today because the market's up and we have a lot to discuss. But don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, let me know your thoughts. And uh, let's get back to the money, guys.